most of us are familiar with hashing. But only few knows the other interesting use cases of hash algorithms. In this video, I will show you how hashing algorithms are really used. We won't deep dive on the mathematics behind hash algorithms since there are already a lot of videos about that. But as a short recap, hash algorithm is a one-way function that converts an input data into a fixed length digest. Let's start with the most common ones. Hash algorithms are used to verify whether files are identical. They make sure the files you are downloading from over the network is not altered during transit. When we log into a system, instead of storing our passwords inside the database in plain text, they are stored in their hashed form. They can be used to identify a malware signature. Hashing ensures that emails came from the real sender. Now let's look at the more interesting use cases. Hash algorithms are used by load balancers to ensure even distribution of traffic. Browsers cache web assets using hashes to avoid re-downloading them. Blockchain and cryptocurrencies use hashing to verify transactions. Network protocols use hash algorithms to verify the integrity of the packets. TLS uses hashing to ensure that the ciphertext is not modified by an attacker during transit. Hashing is heavily used by cryptographic algorithms such as deriving a stronger keys from a password. Network protocols such as BGP hashes packet information to make sure flow stays on same link. Storage arrays uses hashes to find duplicate blocks to save disk space. When booting into secure mode, firmware verifies the signature of each boot component to determine whether it is allowed to run or not. Databases like MongoDB uses hash sharding to provide even distribution across the cluster. RSync splits a file into fixed size blocks and hash them in order to determine which ones it still needs to transfer. As we see in this video, hashing is widely used in different things. If you know other interesting use cases, feel free to comment down below. I hope you learned something today. If you find my content valuable, please support me by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. See you on the next one.